Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing. So uh, the article spoke about an object which had been seen on September 27th of 1989 and it was about 6 30 in the evening now there was a the primary witnesses for this were uh, two school children named vasya Surin and genya blinov uh who were playing soccer in what was uh generally known as south park <laughs> and there were other witnesses yeah, according to the article um but these are the two, like those two kids are the ones who were, who are the, who have been interviewed multiple times. Uh, but other witnesses included a girl named Julia Shokolova. And then there were approximately, according to the article, 30 to 40 adults who observed this strange occurrence. Now, <laughs> what? <laughs> so 30 to 40 people. Um, and we'll talk about it a little bit more, but like those 30, 30 to 40 adults, like I don't have the original article. And if I did, it was probably in Russian and I'd have to translate it poorly. But the 30 to 40 adults could include maybe witnesses of people who saw something strange that day because the, the soccer game with aliens was not the only part of the story. There is more to it. There was actually sightings leading up to uh, this this apparent soccer game with aliens. Now, um, and no soccer game was played. Uh, so some of these other witnesses uh, had related to the newspaper that they had saw a, a pink or red light in the sky, which had turned or manifested into a dark red sphere. And there were estimates thrown around of being about this thing was about 30 feet in diameter and it would hover in a certain spot uh, around this area of South Park and then jet off and fly away, could, disappear could imagine- behind some trees. Imagine for a second you're sitting there and you just see this dark red ominous sphere just like lower down. You're just like hmm. you're in Russia. You're just like, oh, my God. Thank God. It's the sweet release of death coming. From <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I, mean, finally... I wouldn't even imagine they'd be that scared because it's probably like the third scariest thing they've seen that day. Yeah. They just got out of the bread lineup. The, yeah. uh... Their bread got <laughs> stolen by wolves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On the way home. Wild dogs. <laughs> Uh, uh, so after these these sightings of this this red disc or this this light that had been appearing in the sky, apparently at, at one point uh, it it appeared uh, over near this area of South Park, and then uh, for a few minutes it hovered, and then everyone saw this object land down. Now this is where you get the reports from Vasya Surin and Genya Blinov who are playing uh, they're playing soccer, playing ball they're in the park um, uh, like and watching this object come down and it, some of these other witnesses are kind of uh, cited by Mosolov in his article talking about uh, that when it this object landed it from the bottom section of the sphere a hatch opened a hatch or some kind of opening and then a bean appeared out of this did it have like a nice slow ramp <laughs> fast ramp. what was the speed of the ramp that came down because that's yeah. always a question of mine that right and how fast did the doors open yeah come on questions um <laughs> what, how much smoke how much smoke yeah. came out was right. released right? Yes, was released true. upon opening and, yeah. and what was the background ambient lighting uh <laughs> for when this thing because I don't. Thing, I don't think like, any of the kids were carrying a light meter at the time, so I'm not sure. But this thing was huge. Like this being, like they said, like the door, whatever this thing was that came out was the size of the door. Yeah, this is. Like, it's it's like it, it's like the day the Earth stood still. Robot big. Oh, the yeah. Cyclops guy. Oh, that's fucking uh, uh, now this thing it? wasn't a Cyclops though, because it had three eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's literally so it's a, it's a triclops. triclops. <laughs> triclops, yeah. Yeah, would that be the end just poking through? Would that be the proper proper nomenclature, triclops? Yes. If it's not. We, I mean, it is now. Be not Are we considered there. biclops then? We never really refer to ourselves <laughs> as biclops. <laughs> well, I never have. I just thought about that now. I think we should start. It's a fellow biclops. Yeah. yeah. Bi- yeah. We, say, we say biped, hominid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. We I never say refer- biclops. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, you, you know, he's related to us. He's it's another biclops. He's a biclops. It's a fellow biclops. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's like just it's said- disheartening. Like, not, let's let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> you see something with a third eye, you're like, whoa. Ooh. Like, you know what I mean? Spiders, too many eyes. Too many. Right. Someone got two eyes. At least you're like, okay, 
I can relate to this. We're on guy. the same level. We're on the same level. The third eye, you're like, oh, all right, this is some, what happened to you. <laughs> right? One eye, you're like, there's been a terrible accident. <laughs> It's so, See, it's I'm only- like I, w- and I'm reading the reports, and I'm like, I'm not sure if it was three eyes or it was one eye that kind of moved from like three sections. So there was like three, like there were three sections. I'm thinking of fucking, I'm, I'm picturing like a Zaku fucking from Gundam. There's like one little pink eye, and it just moves from section from section, section to section. To section. section. Like, so it's got three <laughs> slots. Yeah, it's got three little slots like separated by. Kind of reminds me of like that the He Man guy optic. The eye spins around, right? <laughs> it spins yeah. his yeah. eyes around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's it's that's what they they witness is that this thing, and not only did it had three eyes, but they also mentioned that this thing was it was dressed in these, uh, or it seemed to be wearing uh, like a silver covered overalls, something, and like a silver suit, you say, silver suit, silver jumpsuit, and then these uh, they they described them as like bronze colored. <laughs> And Herbie Hancock himself. Yeah. And then when, not only that, they, they remarked that it had some sort of disc-shaped object on its chest. Like, there's some kind of, like, disc. So it had an entire like an amulet get up, and then something was there. I don't think it was hanging from anything. Like, it was, like, it was attached to the suit. Like, or it was, like, like Iron Man? Logo. Or oh. some, some people said, like, maybe, like, some sort of, like... Like mini satellite dish looking thing, like it was almost like a receiver or something. Like that, well, honestly, that's what some people said. Sure. Now, uh, this being once it, once it stepped out from the craft, apparently it was sh- it was followed shortly after by another uh, apparent entity that was a, a this shorter, is, smaller, this is crazy, boxier, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> right? Like, could is you it? imagine all these kids and this fucking hatch opens up and this giant three eyed alien pops out? Wait, so one alien came out? Or one... One... One Triclops. One Triclops came out. Or potential... Followed by a uh, Easy Bake Oven with legs. Was Is was it... there not two? Was there not two aliens came out? Well, two. the second one came out later. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Following okay. those ones. Gotcha. Second one's so, a little yeah. boxy guy. All right. Yeah, so the little, like a Easy Bake Oven. No, like Modoc. So they had dials and shit? Yeah, like Modoc. It is is 100% a gonk droid from Star Wars. <laughs> That's is it gonk droid like. again? Which one's the gonk droid? It's GNK. It's like the, it's it's designation is like GNK, and it's basically like, the... like a walk. It's a walking trash can. Like it, that's what oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I the ones. And it just oh, makes a does... sound. The, the sound it makes. Gonk. And you it only see it for like sense, two seconds though. in the first. You only see it like for two seconds in one of the original Star Wars. But that I've always remembered that fucking truck because it's so. Because like they did come out, and he like the first alien was like very like looking at the grass, the foliage, like you know, you know the dirt. Right, so maybe he was just going to toss some, scanning, right? toss some into his little compactor friend that he brought with him. <laughs> yeah, uh, it it did make it did remind me even like uh, <laughs> so like the gonk the gonk droid in Star Wars his his primary uh, function is as like a power generator is like a th- that's what he oh, does. Yeah. So it made me think of like that that if if it were some type of droid or some type of a uh, robot, it's like power in the suit out that there. he's wearing. Yeah, it could it could be wearing. a. It could be a whole bunch of things. It could be like an atmospheric projector. It could be a, a, a some sort of uh, defensive thing. Like it could have been Maybe anything. Maybe a little but... boombox. <laughs> yeah. Likes to listen to podcasts right. when he works. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> could right? have been a little Wi-Fi extender. It could have been a little Wi-Fi no base software. station. Like, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> they only listen to synthwave. Little John Tesh. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, now, so you have these ones, and then, like we said, a second being emerged from the craft. A second of uh, now, you have a pair of the ten foot uh, uh, beans that that came out there. Now, um, both of ten, these ten foot, huge ten foot, Sasquatch. These things have like the, l- now, literally no neck. It goes from shoulder to right. fucking dome. Like that's like, it. Like just huge they, shell. Like the solarians. Right the so kind of like it's uh, just, like, just like a fucking, little helmet. Uh, Juggernaut, right? Yeah. <laughs> the judge. Ju- yeah. Oh, so the juggernaut with his helmet on. So it's just no yeah, neck. Yeah. yeah okay. No I'm getting a good picture. Just like fucking it, everything. It's like there's. I a, wonder there's if like... they're really this big, or because it's just kids looking at them too, right? Because kids. Are well, there's some like, adults though. There's some adults. Well, we don't know if the adults actually witnessed the beans or if they just witnessed the craft. 
So the 40 uh, people that witness it, not necessarily everyone's seen the aliens. That's what I'm thinking. I think that yeah. the 30, 40 people saw the craft like going through the park. Like there might have been people in the park, but the kids are the only ones who witnessed it come down. And, and, and gotcha. I'll say this. I'll say this right now. We, me and Zell went to high school with a guy who he must, he, I think he was like 6'10", 6'11". Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these in, broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get ac full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.